Hello and welcome back to the Football Pyramid, our weekly quiz show where we ask two contestants eight questions of ascending difficulty to see how far they can rise up the English Football Pyramid from the National League at the bottom to the pinnacle, the Champions League champions. Our two contestants today, we've got John Babb and Dave Jackson. Welcome, boys. And you'll each be given three lifelines. So you'll be given 50-50, request a clue and super sub where you can call a friend for advice on the answer. You should all know the rules by now, but just a quick reminder, if they get one right, they move up a level. If they get one wrong, they drop down a level. Let's see who ends up on top. Bab, welcome back to Euro Football Daily. It's been a while. How are you feeling today? Are you ready for a victory? I am ready for a victory, but I'm not expecting one. I was shocking last time. I couldn't get anything right, mate. And <laughs> and you had one victory and you should be questioned, and it went to Dave. Shocking. Yeah. Shocking scenes. It's how it works out. The coin toss can be a cruel mistress. Jacko, how are you feeling? Are you fresh on this Wednesday morning? Slightly dreary day, but you ready to batter Bab? I I'm always ready to batter Bab. And to be fair, like <laughs> we've kind of come out of one lockdown and come back into another one. That's how long it's been since myself and Bab have been on screen. So we are the older statesmen of the Football Daily crew. Mm. Uh, crew, who even, who even used the word crew anymore? I don't know. <laughs> we, we are definitely over the hill and very far away. But I'm pumped. I'm ready. It's always a challenge against Bab. Start with factors. We're going to end with a football pyramid. <laughs> Love it. Love it. <laughs> Fighting talk. Right, Bab, I'm going to give you the coin toss. I'm flipping it now. Would you like heads or tails? Heads, please, mate. Classic. It is heads. Would you oh, like to go first or second? I'll bottle it and go second again, mate. Oh, okay. Ooh. Here we go. Ooh. Right, Jackson, your question in the National League comes in from Chris Bright. Dot eight. Where do Arsenal play? A, Highbury, B, Old Trafford, C, the Emirates, or D, Craven Cottage? Oh, that's a tricky one. Oh I'll have to God. use my phone a friend. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's cool the George. Emirates Stadium. The Emirates Stadium, Doogie. They're my final Correct. Answer. Oh, my goodness. Imagine the embarrassment if you got that wrong. <laughs> Never be able to live it down. Right, Bab. Your question comes in from at Guna JHH. Great Which name. of these teams doesn't wear stripes? Juventus... <laughs> Sunderland, aka the best team in the land. Schalke or Atletico Madrid? Ooh, it's oh, it's not not easy, is it? I'm I'm gonna go Schalke. Correct. Sure? Yes. Well done, Bab. Process of elimination. Jacko. Yes, mate. Your question in League Two comes in from Scardi Swami. Thank you, Scardi Swami, regular contributor. Who was Liverpool's goalkeeper in the 2018 Champions League final? A. Adrian. B. Dudek. C. Carius or D. Allison. 2018 Karras whatever his name is Karras? <laughs> yeah <laughs> Correct it was Karras yes. Well done I actually feel Karras. really sorry for him he had one bad game he had a pr pretty good season he had one bad game yeah. and now he's um, slicing kebabs in Turkey so. <laughs> Wow Wow that's the, way to, that's, the way to, that's the way to cookie crumbles John Right let's quickly move on from national stereotypes um, Bab <laughs> Your question in League Two comes in from Dave Carabini. Who did Man City sign Sergio Aguero from? A, Real Madrid, B, Boca Juniors, C, Hatafe, or D, Atletico Madrid? Oh, I know this one. D, Atletico Madrid. Ooh. Ooh, Bab. You were in League Two. You've gone with Atletico Madrid. But you were right, oh, yes. don't worry. Good work. I was pulling your leg. <laughs> trying to do some mind games. Excellent. That was BAFTA level acting there, dude. <laughs> Jacko, yes, your question mate. in League One, you're both doing well, comes in from Bairdy dot underscore. Which of these teams has Jurgen Klopp not managed? A, Dortmund, B, Schalke, C, Liverpool, or D, Mainz? I believe it is Schalke. Final answer. You're locking, you're locking yeah. that in? Jacko, you've gone with Schalke. B, Schalke. Well done, mate. You're going up to the championship. Jacko's going up. The beers are going up. Because Jacko's going up. No, fine. <laughs> no, Move on. on your own. No. <laughs> Just you on that one. Um, Bab, your question in League One comes in from at one sad Bears fan. Who scored a brace in the championship playoff final to send Fulham up this season? A, Josh Onoma. B, Tom Kearney. C, Tim Ream. Or D, Joe Bryan. Jesus Christ. It's only easy if you know it, mate. It was only about a month ago, Bab. Yeah, I didn't watch it, though, did I? <laughs> oh, uh, no. I'm going to go with... You do have your lifelines. I'll go 50-50 or whatever you call it, half and half. Sure. Your 50-50 or half and half is Tom Kearney or Joe Bryan? I'm going to go Joe Bryan. You locking that in? Yeah. 
Bab, you were in League One with a pretty easy question, but it stumped you. You've used your 50 50. You've gone with Joe Bryan. And you were right. Well yes. done. Guesswork. Yes. <laughs> no regrets over using the lifeline then? No regrets. It's better than getting relegated. Love it. Okay. Good work. Right, Jacko, in the championship, this is where it starts ramping up a little bit. Your question comes in from Dom B. Cole. Which club did Reese James spend the 2018 19 campaign on loan at? A. Wigan Athletic. B. Swansea City. C. Brentford. Or D. Birmingham City? A. Wigan Athletic. Du -du -du -du. Locking, locking that in? Yeah, big time, mate. So confident. So Jacko, cocky these days. Very cocky, very <laughs> confident. But he was right to be, because he's going up to the Premier League. That's what I'm talking about. Well done. Right, Bab, you've got two lifelines. You are in the championship. Love Your mate. question comes in from Shivanash Shakar. Wh what does the famous sign in the tunnel of Anfield say? A, you'll never walk alone. Mm. B, welcome to Anfield. C, go Reds. Or D, this is Anfield. Sorry, excuse my language. <laughs> um, wow, you think I'd know this, right? Uh, Come on, John, think about it. I know, uh, I know it's not go Reds. So what do you mean? I, I, can, I can rule that one out. How about go Reds? Uh, so American, isn't it? Go Reds. I think it's one of the welcome to or whatever. What, what was what was B and D? Welcome to Anfield or this is Anfield. I'm gonna if go. You, if you want, you can ring me and I can I can give you your answer. No, I'm all right, <laughs> mate. I'll, I'll go with D. You going with D? This is Anfield. Yeah. Ooh, Bab. You weren't quite sure. You've gone with D. This is Anfield. And you're joining Jacko in the Premier League. Come on. Not sure how he's done that, really. Hanging two on. Kind of Hanging on. Guesses in his last two, yeah. exactly. <laughs> Hanging on by a thread. Jacko, yes, you're mate. doing very well. You've got all three lifelines. You're in the Premier League. Your question comes in from Shri underscore 1211. Who got right. the most assists in the Champions League in the 2017-18 season? A, Lionel Messi. B, Lucas Moura. C, James Milner. Or D, Kevin De Bruyne. Good luck, mate. In which, like, which uh, season, Dukes? The 17-18 season. There was a lot of press about it at the time. I I'd like to request a clue, please, Dukes. Mm. Okay, your request a clue is they set a new record that year. Unlucky, what? mate. That was a waste of a clue, wasn't it? A big time. Not it might spark something, it might not. Oh, hold on, he's ju he is just, Doogie's just made that up. He, he, he definitely didn't <laughs> have a clue prepared for that, did he? No, no, I do, I've always got them written down. So I think it's either Messi or KDB, but then Milner got to the final, so there's, there's a lot of, like... What do you reckon? I'm going to have to speed you along, Jacko. I'll go 50-50. As well? He's absolutely yeah. bricked it, he's absolutely bricked it. Your 50-50 is Lionel Messi or James Milner. Oh, for f <laughs> 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 this is great. Well, you, you're phone a friend. Phone, you oh, flew up to the Premier League and he's stalling here. You know, I'll know that John Stiff will know this. I think John Stiff will not know this. I don't think I don't think Stiff will know this. Uh, I am going to. Uh... Come on, Jacko. Uh, I'm going to go Lionel Messi. Jacko, you were in the Premier League. You used your request a clue and 50 50. You've gone with Lionel Messi. And you were wrong, I'm afraid. <gasps> it was big Jimmy Milner. Unbelievable. Commiserations, but there's plenty of time to recover. Wow. Bab, can you take the lead, though? This is the high point. It's not getting any better than this. <laughs> <laughs> Your question comes in from Scar D. Swarmy. Told you he was a regular contributor. Thank you, Scar. Who was the last Englishman to win the PFA Player of the Year award? A, John Terry. B, Frank Lampard. C, Steven Gerrard. Or D, Wayne Rooney. Mm. And you've got your request a clue or super sub. Or E, James Milner. <laughs> request a clue. They were English. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll request a clue. Your clue is they won it in 2009-10. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say Rooney. Locking it in. Yeah, do it. Bab, you were in the Premier League. You've gone with Wayne Rooney after using your clue. And you're going up to the Europa League, Bab. I don't know how I've done it. It's been a mountain climb, this. Top work. Right, Jacko. Pressure is on. You really need to get this one right. Your question comes in from at Footy Maniac in the Championship. In these four results, which losing side was the away side? A, Spurs 6-1 Man United. B, Aston Villa 7 Liverpool 2. C, Leicester City 5 Man City 2. Or D, Bayern 7, Spurs 2. 
So I want the away side that lost. So the team that was away... In yeah, which fixture. losing side was oh, the away it was side? Liverpool Villa, so Liverpool. Locking that in? Yeah, yeah. Jacko, you were in the championship. You've gone with Liverpool Villa. And you were right. Well done. Mate, the wording of that question. What was that? It was, yeah, that was take big... it up with Footy Maniac. I didn't like it either, to be Bloody honest. Will, mate. No, it was great. It really confused him. I liked it. More of those. <laughs> <laughs> right, Bab. You're marching on to the Europa. You run for the clean sweep. Become just the sixth or seventh to complete it. Sixth, I think it would be. Let's see. Your question comes in from Nicolas Morales. Mm. Which African team has never reached the quarterfinals of the World Cup? A, Nigeria, B, Ghana, C, Senegal, or D, Cameroon? Uh, what was the first one? Nigeria. Yeah, Nigeria, I think. You locking that in? Yeah, lock it in. Bab knows his World Cups. And he got it right. Well yes. done. Going up to the Champions League. Oh my God, I don't, I don't know what's happened. Mental. This is like Slumdog okay. Millionaire. Yeah, just it is. Just... <laughs> <laughs> Jacko, you really need this to stay know, in mate. the fight, just about. And your question comes in from Robert Ryan in the Premier League. Which club did Timo Werner play for prior to Leipzig? A. Werder Bremen, B. Bayern Munich, C. Stuttgart, or D. Hertha Berlin? I know this. All right, let me ring George. All right, hold on. Let me ring Zach, actually. He's a little fanboy, isn't he? If Zach doesn't know. You are, brother. Hello, Zach. You are live on the football pyramid. Please do not swear. Oh, no. Um, <laughs> oh, all right. So just, just a quick, quick one. Which which <laughs> club did Timo Verma play for before Leipzig? Uh, got to, 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 can I have the, can I have Werder the, Bremen. Was it Werder Bayern Bremen? Munich. Bayern Munich. Stuttgart. Stuttgart. Or Hertha Berlin. Or Hertha Berlin. I think the question is, Jacko, when, when am I getting that pay rise? And then I'll tell you the answer. It is uh, Stuttgart, my friend. Stuttgart. Okay, buddy. Thank you very much. Uh, have fun. No uh, have fun Bye -bye. at the bridge, mate. Bye-bye. Uh, I believe the answer is Stuttgart, dude. Confident. Jacko, you were in the Premier League. You called Zach Jalab, who's a bit big time now. He's just at Stamford Bridge, whatever. He's gone with Stuttgart. You've gone with Stuttgart too. And you're both right. Well, well done. Well done, Jalab. Well done, Jalab. Let me like, see what I can do with that pay rise, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> right, Bab. You are just two questions away. Your question comes in from Jacob Dot Stammers. Mm -hmm. And it's which African player has made the most Premier League appearances? <sighs> Doing That's African tough. theme for Babs as well. Wow, yeah. Kolo Toure, Shola Amiobi, Kanu, or Didier Drogba? I don't think it's Kanu. I think it's the first or the last options. So what were they again? Colo Torre or Didier Drogba. But then, like, Schola did play every single... He played week in, week out, didn't he? For Newcastle for a long time. Well done, mate. you got on my head now. Nice. So, <laughs> I don't know. Just trying to help you out, buddy. Oh, yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> and to be fair, like... Uh... I mean, Colo played for bloody ages, man. He was, like, like 10 years. Drog was hardly ever injured when he, when he was at Chelsea. Yeah, but he's not as prolific, and he don't, I don't think he actually did as well as people remember him for. Yeah, still, 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 yeah, it's well. Not about, it's not about goals, though, is it? It's just about being on the pitch, isn't it? You do have your super sub, I have to remind you. I just don't think the super sub's going to help me, to be okay. honest. Uh, I mean, I've got a 25% chance of been riding these odds all the way up to the Champions <laughs> League, so let's, let's, let's take another punt. I'm going to go with Colo Torre. Oh. Are you locking that in? Yeah, <laughs> lock <laughs> it in, mate. Bab. You were in the Champions League. You were torn between Colo Torre or Didier Drogba. You've gone with Colo Torre. And you were right. Well done, man. Unbelievable. That's great. Wow. Huge, huge potential there. Wow. Right. Bab is just one question away, but let's see where Jacko ends up. He's in the Europa League. He's done okay. Jacko, your question comes in from at SamTin13. How many FA Cups have Liverpool won? A4... B5, C6, or D7? And you don't have any <laughs> lifelines. What stupid question is that? How many have Arsenal won? 14. Well, there you go. I think it's six for some reason. Got feeling. Let's go for six. Off you go, mate. Liverpool won six. Locking that in? Pick up. Yeah, why not? Jacko, you were in the Europa League. You've gone with six. Your final answer was, in fact, wrong. Yeah, it was seven. There you go. Brutal. It happens. It's a brutal game. Hey ho, 
But let's turn our attention to Bab. Come on, Bab. Who can complete the show and become just the sixth person, I think, to do so. Wow. The right. This is niche question, Bab. Of course. Your question comes in from at art fetal, underscore fetal. Brazilian goalkeeper Rogério Ceni scored a total of 129 goals throughout his career. But what was his record for a single season? A11, B15, C18, or D21? I mean, I'm, I've got a lifeline, but let's be honest. I don't really think anyone's going to know that. No. Uh, it's a great so, question from Art Fetal. I've got 11 at the bottom end. And how many at the top end? 21. 21. Is, what were the other options? 18? 15 and 18. 18 feels right to me. Let's lock it in. Let's gamble. Let's do it. Are you doing it? Yeah. All on red, mate. Okay. Bab, you were just one question away. You've gone with 18. And you haven't completed oh! the show today, I'm afraid. What was it? It was 21. Damn it. That is mental. I know. He took free kicks and, and penalties very well. Wow. Oh, Fair my goodness. Bab. So close. How do you feel? It was a it was a 25% chance. Yeah. As you said, rode those odds all the way, but it I didn't did. quite happen at the end. To be honest with you, mate, it was a miracle I got that far. I, should, <laughs> I, I mean, based on my actual knowledge, I, I'm floating around League 2. No, I think you're doing yourself a disservice. <laughs> There's some good answers in that, particularly around the World Cups and the African questions yeah, as well. Yeah, the, you did... the World Cup one was all right, yeah. I, I, yeah. I enjoyed that one. Everything else was shocking. Fair. I mean, Jacko, <laughs> what about you? Very middle of the road, I'd say, in terms of your performance. You can do better, I think. I think I can. I'm a bit disappointed in myself. <laughs> um, uh, James Milner, you know, is, is yeah. what it is. But that's a new piece of knowledge. That's something I've learned. And that's uh, that's that's what this crazy thing we call life is all about, right? It's about learning new things, new experiences. And we've got to move forward. In the oh, Premier League, that. want to come back next week or the week after and try and get to the Champions League, mate. And that's what life's all about. You're not just watching this, guys, for your football trivia. You're also watching this for life lessons and philosophy, philosophy with Dave Jackson. <laughs> Fantastic stuff. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed the football pyramid for this week. If you want to get your question featured, remember to DM me on Twitter and Instagram. And I've got a lot of li- uh, I've got a long, long list. I've got a lot of questions, but it will get featured eventually. Jacko, this is going out on Saturday on EFD. What should they go and watch now? Oh, I think they should probably watch the reaction that would have happened mm. um, tonight. That's going to go out tonight. Um, over Man United and someone. Man United, Man United Chelsea. Chelsea. Yeah, you know, yeah. That, that sounds fantastic. <laughs> and then what, 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 what they should also do is check out this book I've been reading. It's uh, Nicholas wow. Bentner. Very, very good. Um, I've Fair. finished the Arsene Wenger book. Very, very good also. Um, I like it. Are you on commission or? Uh, I'm trying to get, I get, for every thousand books um, I sell, get hundred pound. And Bab, anything from you? Anything you'd like to push to? Any life lessons you'd like to give as well? Anything? Well, I just, Never give up, ride the odds. Sometimes you're gonna get lucky. In my case, most of the time. So yeah, just enjoy it. Enjoy it while it lasts. <laughs> <laughs> love it, love it. Thank you very much for watching, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye. See you in a bit.